All right, so you guys saw the Instagram reel. It was a speed edit of this shot where I filled in the sides on a studio shot and you wanted to see how did I do it. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show you how I did this in Photoshop. All right, so first thing, uh, we are in Lightroom and I've just done some basic edits here. Probably I can go ahead and crop for Instagram, right? Four by five. And let's just see if we got enough room to do that. I think we do. That's pretty good right there. So I think I've got the crop. She looks like she's um, upright perfectly, not going sideways or off kilter. I think that's pretty good. So let's open this in Photoshop. We'll right click, choose edit in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so we got her in Photoshop now. And the first thing we'll do is duplicate the background layer. And I'm gonna go kind of extra descriptive today. I'm usually pretty descriptive as it is, um, but some of you said you tried this before and you're getting stuck and lost somewhere. So let's not uh, leave anyone behind, right? So I'm gonna, on the keyboard, choose Control J. What's that gonna do? It's gonna duplicate the background layer. Why? Um, because if I make edits and I screw up, they're gonna be contained into this new layer, right? And if I screw it up and I wanna start all over, I can just select, click and select this layer and hit delete on the keyboard and it will go away and I'm back to where I started, right? And I can just start all over. So Control J duplicates the background layer and this is where I'm gonna start working. And it is really as simple as all we're gonna do is by hand select these areas that I wanna remove and then we're gonna fill them in with the red, okay? And I'll show you exactly how to do that. And probably what I'll do is start with the top up here and I can just use this rectangular marquee tool, which is this one right here. And I just kind of, for this shot, just kind of want to grab, uh, you know, this area maybe right there, okay? And then I'm gonna choose, hold down shift and choose F5 on the keyboard. That's gonna bring up a box. Make sure content aware is filled. I believe it is by default. I'll paste it 100%, just hit okay. And it's gonna fill in this area at the top. It kind of just makes the paper uniform all the way to the top and did a pretty good job, right? Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna more freehand this cause I'm gonna have to draw right around these edges here, or actually what I may do and what I did on Instagram was I drew around her, right? So let's try that. Instead of me uh, selecting this area and filling it in and then selecting this area and fill it in. I'm going to select around her, but not even around her. I'm going to select the layers here. I'm going to come here. I'm going to go around like this. And I really just want to target the edges. So I'm just doing it like that. So instead of selecting this side and doing it and then this side and doing it, I'm just making one selection, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say select inverse. So I'm going to right click anywhere inside my selection. I'm going to choose select inverse. Now it's selected both of those for me. Um, essentially it's the same thing as me coming here, selecting this one, right? Hold down the shift key. That allows you to make an additional selection and then selecting this one. So like I said, six of one half dozen of the other, it makes no difference. Okay. And then we're going to choose shift F5 again, just like we did the first time on the top. And we'll hit OK, and it's gonna do both of them. And all we're telling it is to fill this area on the sides with whatever is around it immediately. And sometimes, like it did here, it doesn't do it really well, right? Um, and we've gotta go fix things. That's one of where I think maybe you guys are getting stuck. Um, like this side, it did it perfectly clean. This side, it decided, oh, I'm going to put the leg over here. And you're like, crap. All right. Well, I mean, try it again. So we got some of this in here. We've got an additional appendage suddenly. And we're going to just select it. And we'll choose Shift F5. And we'll choose OK. And see if that kind of does it. And we're getting there. I mean, you can keep doing this. There's other ways to get around this. But let's just keep going. Shift F5. You know, most of the time it just does it the first time for me. So after a couple of times, we finally got there, right? Okay, so that's pretty good. I mean, you could pretty much go with this if you wanted to. To my eyes, I see a little vertical sort of a line here. 
and a line up here, right? And I kind of want to clean those up. So to do that, uh, we can stay on the same layer if we want to. You can see, to turn off the layer, we can hit the eyeball. And there's before and there's after. So if you want to do it, the, the fills, we'll call this fill, on one layer and then keep going and do the next part on another layer in case you mess it up. Um, you can, uh, again, do a, con a control J to make a copy of the fill layer, okay? And we'll call this, I don't know, um, we're gonna paint on this layer and we're gonna patch. So we'll call this paint and patch, like it's a house or something, right? Paint, patch, and I spelled paint wrong. I don't feel like fixing it. All right. We'll fix that later. So I'm going to go to the patch tool, and that's this one right here. Just make sure we're on this new layer, or you could have done it on this layer down here if you wanted to do it all in the same layer. And I can see this. So hopefully it's coming through, and I'm just going to select that area and just kind of drag it and move it over right there to see if it kind of cleans up that vertical line, and it did pretty well. And there's one over here. I mean, it's very, um, it's not very pronounced. You know, it might even be hard to see when you're looking on maybe your phone or whatever, you might not even see a vertical line. Um, or it may be more pronounced on your phone. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I'm looking at a big monitor. I saw still saw a little bit of it there, and that's pretty good. So, I mean, um, I could go with this. There's some little spots down here. I can just go here. I see some little spots in the... So the patch tool, all you're doing is you're selecting what you don't want, and you're moving it over into an area that you want to fill it in with. Right, so it's like a, a replace. You just drag it to what you want to replace it with, right? And there's some little spots on the on the floor from dirt, from the shoes, or whatever. So that's pretty good. I mean, I could leave it like that. Sometimes I'll go real small because I can see the background, like the texture in the background, a little better, and how the color looks, and it's not really uniform, right? So I'm going to select just the background or most of it we're probably just going to work in this area up here above the knees and around her not on her or in this area so uh, when I do this selection it's probably not going to get the stool but I'm not going to work down here much anyway so I'm going to choose the quick selection tool which is this one here okay and that will give you this select subject uh, button up here at the top um, any one of these will give you that if you're not choosing these and you choose some other one you see it disappears you want the select subject, so you need this one, okay? So I'll choose select subject. It usually does a pretty good job. I think it'll have a hard time with the bench here or the stool, but we'll see. Yeah, it got like part of it. That's all right. I don't need it to be perfect. I'm just going to be working up here mostly, okay? So then I'm going to select inverse. It selected most of her. I'll select inverse. What does that do? That selects just the background, okay? Um, now I, I want to paint. So I'm going to go to my paintbrush here, and I'm going to make sure that my hardness, like right now it's set to 53, I'm going to make it a soft brush, make it a soft round brush. If you have something else chosen, come up here, it's usually this one at the top. Soft round and the hardness at 0%, very important, okay? Flow at like 10 to 15%, I'll try 15. Use your right and left bracket key, which is next to the P key on your keyboard. Make as large a circle as you can. If you make smaller circles, you tend to be able to see streaks. And this is just subtle. Why am I at flow 15? Flow is like how much ink is coming out of your pen, right? 100% we're full blast ink, right? 15% uh, we dialed it back significantly and we're just going to finesse um, some paint on here, right? And I'm just, I, I really don't need this, but I just kind of want to make it the colors a little more uniform, I guess. Um, so I'm going to hold down the alter option and that's going to give me my dropper and I'm going to select maybe this color because I think it's a little dark up there in the top and I'm just going to take a few swipes of paint, right? Now it's not going to bleed into her because I don't have her selected. I just have the background selected and then maybe I'll grab this color and kind of do a few swatches through there, right? And then I'll come in here and I'll grab this color, maybe do a few swatches through there and then I'll grab this color and I'll come over here a little bit and this color and kind of come right up there with that and you know there's a little shadow down there I think that's probably fine and I think we're good maybe I'll come over here and get a little bit of this um, come over here we'll get a little bit of that right so all I did was it's and on a phone if you're looking at this on a phone you're probably not gonna be able to tell but I kind of just smooth things out in the back a little bit it doesn't need to be perfect 
Uh, let me turn the layer off. So that's where we started before the paint and patch. Maybe this will be more evident. And then I'll turn that on and you can see it's a little bit smoother. I didn't want to take out, I didn't want to make it completely flat, right? I want there to be depth to it. So just real subtle fixing the lines and then slapping a little bit of paint on there. And we're done. Hit Control S and we save. And hopefully, you know, you didn't get confused. You didn't get lost. Hopefully I was descriptive enough. If you got behind, uh, that's what pause is for. And you back up and you, you go again. So um, let me know in the comments what you thought about this. If you like this kind of video, uh, give it a like. And I would appreciate a subscribe if you can. And uh, if you're still watching at this point, I appreciate it. Because you know you're one of my diehards that sticks in to the end. So really appreciate you. All right. Have a good one. Oh,